It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show, sponsored by Kia. Hello again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Welcome to 2K Sports. We're already getting uh, the feel for this new NBA season. Uh, taking it all in with me, Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight, we'll be watching the Orlando Magic playing against the Bulls out in Chicago. Looking at the Bulls, they have yet to play their best basketball this season, or at least they hope that's the case, because with a record of 1-5 and five out of the gate, they really need to improve. And last year, it became clear that this Bulls team was transitioning from the Derrick Rose era to the Jimmy Butler era. If you were in charge of the Bulls, Shaq, how would you build this team around Butler? Well, Butler isn't a guard that likes to dominate the ball like James Harden, so you can still have an elite player at the point to complement him. I might want more of a second threat to add to a second option, but Jimmy Butler, great direction to go into. Well, I'm not from the school of thought of errors. I'm from the school of thought. Errors are built after the fact, not while they're there. Uh, Butler's defense is great. Uh, I would still build a be defensive-minded basketball team. I do like the way they can do that, and that could be a driving force moving forward. Getting ready for the opening tip. Let's go to Kevin Harlan. This here mine, this here mine. That's it right there, that this here mine. This here. What, what are you doing? I'm working on my signature dance. Everybody got signature dance when they get hot. Okay. Y'all work that out. Yeah. I got, yeah. I got practice. Baby, come on. Sit. Yo, Denver, mm -mm. just let it flow, man. Like, whatever happens spontaneously on the court, let that be it. Man, I'm going to be ready for mine. Watch, Fred. When the coach calls me out there, I'm going to have my shot down. I'm going to have my dance down. All right, let's see it. Everybody goes, let's see go. Because uh, uh, mm, mm. this right here, this is me pointing like this here, mine. Ready? This here, mine. This here, mine. Everybody can do it. This here, mine. Where the rap is at? This here, mine. I'm going to call Drake. Someone get Drake on the phone. This here, mine. Hey, that's right there. That's the one. That's the way you shoot it. the Chicago Bulls, the United Center. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. Looking at the last game for the Orlando Magic, it was a loss to the Wizards. And they lost it by a single point. Just one more possession, or one less bad shot away from a different result. Those really stink. A long and tiring game, made worse, obviously, by the fact they ended up in the second overtime falling short, which can be a real morale killer. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. David? Well, guys, the connection between Prez and his former high school coach, Washington Falls, goes beyond your typical coach-player relationship. Coach Falls acted as a role model at times for Prez after his father passed, guiding him both on and off the court. And it helps that Coach Falls himself was a highly successful college player, and he's challenged Prez to make the most out of his talent. Back to you. Thanks, David. And so often for NBA players, a high school coach is so much more than a coach. Uh, it's a great point. I mean, I remember Washington Falls playing in college way back in the day, and you can see his no-nonsense style and how he coached Prez. The Magic last season trading away Tobias Harris, an outstanding young player, for more veteran players. It was an interesting move, in my opinion. It seems like... So for the Bulls, Bobby Portis comes in for Robin Lopez. And Mirotic subbed in for Taj Gibson. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Yambo, he's checked in for Vucevic. Gordon comes in for Serge Ibaka. Brown, he's checked in for Jeff Green. Young is subbed in for Alfred Payton. On the court for Orlando, Brown in its small forward. Bismack Biambo is out there with Aaron Gordon. Then it's Evan Fournier. And it's Young in at the one spot. Stolen by Gordon. And here we go with the magic fast break. Poked away. It's stolen by Rondo. There's a minute 47 left in the first. To the middle. Wants to get it to Butler and does. Basket counts. And the magic last season also trading away productive bigs like Channing Fry and Kyle O'Quinn. Guys, do you like what they've done roster-wise? 
I think so. I mean, they have talent, but sometimes it's been a little hard to determine and discern which way they're headed. Um, are they going young or older? You need a mix, and sometimes you just have to wait for your young, talented players to become more seasoned. And yet, we know at some point the fans want to see playoff basketball. Shot from 12. Kept alive. Here's Portis. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, we've got a moment to look back at last year's Bulls. Third in rebounding, third in three point shooting. And they were top 10 in free throw percentage. That's always helpful in winning games. Yeah, and going back to their rebounding, very few teams could outmuscle them inside. The size and toughness to scrap for every carom off the backboard. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. McDermott's checked in for Wade. And it's Cannon in for Rajon Rondo. And a switcher also for Orlando. His onions checked in. Gordon against Miritic. It's tipped. Young with the steal. Trying to go for an alley oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Here's Cannon, defended by Young. To the paint, and stolen by Biombo. And Young kicks to Brown. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Robin Lopez is checked in for Bobby Portis. Gibson comes in for Miritich. Wade, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Cannon. So on the floor for Orlando. Abaka is the four with Vucevic in the middle. Fournier out there with Young. And it's Brown in at the three spot. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, we know Jimmy Butler made a big bet on himself back in 2014. He turned down the Bulls' four-year, $44 million contract extension offer. It paid off. It. After loose. a breakthrough Stay season, loose. he signed a new contract, a max deal for five years and $95 million. He said of his decision, I was nervous. I'm not going to lie to you, but everything I put myself through, I knew what I was capable of. He's come a long way, David. Thank you. Well, many know about the tragedy that Prez has had to battle through the loss of his father. But he did have a great mentor in his life with his high school coach, Washington Falls. Yeah, and when you talk to Prez about Coach Falls, he will just gush about how much he owes to him for helping him through his youth. He says he is the force in his life that keeps him grounded. Ibaka this is to Brown and a look at Prez there just punishing the rim. Oh and you love the ferocity that Prez finished that playoff with no layups for the big fella. And Prez recently doing something every NBA player dreams of as a kid signing a shoe deal. You figured it was only a matter of time. And from what I've heard there are some pretty generous checks coming his way as the company believes he could end up being the face of the basketball division in no time. And no good had a chance to take the lead. Chicago leading. And Evan Fournier drafted 20th by the Nuggets back in 2012 but it was the trade to Orlando in 2014 that really unleashed him. I mean he earned a starting role and showed he can get it done at both ends of the court. An excellent two way play. Round the pass to Vucevic and there's the whistle fouled hard on the shot he'll go to the line and the seven foot frame of Vucevic um, creates a lot of problems causes a lot of problems for defenders especially when he's close to the bucket the magic making a switch here greens checked in and Nikola Vucevic born to play the game both of his parents played professionally they met in a gym and his father played in Europe for 24 years so you can't run away from the DNA. McDermott can't get it to go. The Magic have gone five of seven from the field here in the second. Young in the corner. Puts up a three. That was enough space for Young to convert the deep ball. And Young can knock those down if you give him the chance. Rondo kicks to Gibson. One thirty-seven left in the first half of basketball. To Rondo. Puts it up from 15. That one off the back iron and out. 
And Vucevic with that basketball upbringing, guys, you see that in his skill level, don't you? Yeah, exactly. I mean, he can score on the block over either shoulder. Um, he can step out and make the face-up jump shot as well. He's a good passer. Um, offensively, there's not much he can't do as a big guy. Once he gets inside like that, even an excellent defensive effort isn't enough. Guard it. Get over here, guys. Hustle up. Let's talk. Hey, if we let up on D, even a little, it's enough to get their guy going. How could he like what's happening? Really had to take a time out there. And, and the first half comes. All right, come on in, guys. We can turn this around. Welcome back to the hustle and bustle of Chicago, a time-lapse view of all the traffic heading toward downtown. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. McDermott, he's checked in for Dwayne Wade. Brown is checked in for Orlando. Young comes in for Alfred Payton. Butler and McDermott are out on the perimeter. Taj Gibson is out there with Robin Lopez. And it's Rondo in at the point guard position. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Traps in the tray. McDermott's got the lead up to eight now for the Bulls. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hand. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Vucevic. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. You know, you figured that Dwayne Wade might be a player to finish his career playing for just one team, the Miami Heat. But in the end, things just ended bitterly. Wade had taken less money in the past so the Heat could win titles. I mean, he was done playing for a discount. And the Bulls, boy, did they step up. Rondo against Young. The kick outside to Butler. Gibson the screen. Butler dishes to Gibson. Five on the clock. 14 feet away. They get the rebound. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there, Greg. Miritich is checked in for Chicago. Isaiah Cannon comes in for Rajon Rondo. The Magic also changing it up. Yambo, he's checked in for Vucevic. Gordon comes in for Serge Ibaka. And Levins is subbed in for Fournier. The Bulls leading by six. Here's Cannon. Addition out to Butler. Three-pointer. Sinks the three-pointer. Butler's got 11. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass it. Young outside. Got a piece of it. Here's Brown. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. It's on Jimmy Butler. And that's just what Pez does, getting real physical with the D on his shots. And what can you say about Justice Young, standout player from Seton Hall? And he's fought his way into the NBA acts. and carved out his place. And you have to give all the credit to Young, as he is just a relentless worker. Has never been viewed as a dominant player, but he just continues to improve and, and fine tune his game each and every year. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. And the Magic improving defensively last season. Well, I like the talent level of their defenders. They can pressure the ball. Uh, they like to force turnovers and get out in the open court. That serves them well. Uh, still room to grow for this group, but when they're creating and causing havoc, I think that's when they're at their best. Gordon, the pass to Brown. Dishes it to Biombo from 11 feet away. Count that one. He has six. His offense normally comes and goes, but he'll take that bucket. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. 
Well, guys, it was controversial in Chicago, but the Bulls hired Fred Hoiberg to replace Tom Thibodeau. Hoiberg played for a decade in the NBA, and at Iowa State, he was the fastest coach in school history to reach 100 wins. In Chicago, guys, it seems he's loosened the reins a bit, giving the players a little more leeway to shoot with confidence and air it out offensively. The players have responded. Thanks, David. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. Now let's check out the rebounds and where they're coming from. Here's a breakdown showing the front court and the back court rebounding numbers for the Bulls. And their guards have been very active on the glass. In a game like this, that it really could go either way. Extra possessions can make all the difference in the world. You, you like the way they're getting it done here by committee. And free throw good from Brown. And really, you got to commend the, the Bulls for the success they've had in the draft. You look at that roster, you see a ton of big minute players who were drafted by the Bulls. They've done a great job of finding players to fill roles within that team. Here's Azania. Another miss by Orlando. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. Most any player can make you pay when you leave them that wide open. That's why you have to stay alert on defense. The shot and game clock separated by four. Let's it go. And it's Brown missing. Not really sure what he was thinking about on that shot. That is not high IQ basketball. Not at all. I mean, he shouldn't even have considered taking that shot. Just a four. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester, and that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And that'll do it, folks. For Great game, Prez. Hey, thank you, man. What's up? Man, you and Justice Harlan. really Thanks starting to look like a formidable duo out there. Finally, the huh? NBA starting to click. On 2K Sports. You guys are lucky. So long. Usually takes guys a while to find their tag team partner in the league. You know, Kareem and Magic didn't hook up till Kareem's 11th season. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I don't know about all that. We can hopefully build on what we've been doing and win some titles before 11 seasons. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of you guys, I've been trying to come up with some nicknames. I got some good ones. Uh, what about the executive branch? No. No, 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 no. We got our own thing, man. We have this orange juice thing. Orange juice? Orange juice, yeah. We have a whole handshake and everything. Every time we score, it's like, orange juice. You have it? I don't get it, but I like it. Uh, I'm going to run with it if that's all right. That's great. All right. Speaking of running, I got to go, man. All right. Hey, good game again. And thank you for this. This is great stuff. Thank you. What city are you in right now? You gotta get a winter coat for these away games. I cannot believe I forgot to tell you that. Or do they give you guys coats? I don't know. They should. If you get sick, then y'all won't be any good, right? They should just give you coats. Talk to you later, baby. Bye.